Hello and welcome to All About Community. When we went to break, I indicated that uh, I would have as my special guest uh, Robert uh, Rabin, who is a member of the Board of Directors of BART. Uh, Robert, welcome to All About Community. Thank you, Robert, and I'm very excited to be here with you. Too. Yeah, we, we won't have any problems with our names, Robert and no, Robert. We've got that down. Uh, let's talk for a moment about your background and how you came to be a member of the BART Board of Directors. Well, I've long understood how our communities benefit from transportation options. I studied urban geography and planning at San Jose State University. Next, I focused on how transportation shapes our cities and received a doctorate at UC Berkeley. After teaching for a decade, my life what changed. What did you teach? I taught geography, oh, urban okay. planning, and uh, cartography, map drawing, okay. and uh, natural resources. I even taught a physical geography class. All right. Yes. And, and, and it, it developed uh, your appetite for uh, transportation? How did, how did that I love in? working with youth. Oh, okay. It's, it's the most beneficial thing we can do, is to encourage the next generation. Okay. Um, and in encouraging the next generation, you decide that I want to be a member of the board of BART. Is that right? Is well, that, that simple? It had to be no, a little bit more complex. That simple. I, did you have any opposition? Oh, of course. <laughs> but... I, I'm an environmentalist, and okay. I was recruited by the Sierra Club. Um, after teaching for a decade, I moved on to do redistricting work for Hispanic mm -hmm. voter groups. That's where I learned how to organize in a community. Um, and I brought that back to the Bay Area and led the East Bay Bicycle Coalition for 17 years, organizing, activating. Uh, the community to fight for change, access on bridges, access on BART. And that led to the Sierra Club picking me and asking if I would run for office in 2010. Um, I, it was the toughest thing I did. And, trust and that was me, your first time uh, running for elected office? Oh, it office. certainly was. Oh, okay. Yes. And not your last time, I assume. No. <laughs> no, I intend to run again next year. Now, I, I, what is the passion that drives you uh, to get up every day and think about BART and how BART is going to be projected into the future? Well, my passion's driven by my background. Okay. And that's to transform our cities, to not be de dependent upon the automobile. When BART opened in 1972, this was not the vision. Each of those stations were surrounded by a moat of parking. And so I want to create housing and jobs around those stations. There are nine elected directors, and I represent a diverse community here. Who's your current chair? Mark Foley. Okay. He represents East Contra Costa County. Okay. And there are nine, you said there are nine, nine directors. We're evenly apportioned. The districts, given the last census, uh, are about 430,000 population in each district. That's huge. Now, wh why is BART uh, important to this region? In this region, I believe, well, it doesn't go to San Jose yet. I heard someone read it on the TV today what? about... Uh, San Jose, but... Actually, let's catch up. Okay. In the last year, we opened two new stations, Milpitas and yes. Berryessa. Yeah, that's getting, San Jose. that's getting close. That's getting close. Yes. Um, but what, why we're important to the region, mm -hmm. I think, is underlined by looking at the pre-pandemic ridership patterns. Yes. And the Bay Bridge carries, at most, 9,000 vehicles an hour. Well, we were carrying at peak hours 27,000 passengers an hour. That was before March of 2020. That's right, back in February. Right. And 
we were carrying about 410 to 420,000 passengers a day. Every day. And so we were far out distancing what the capacity of the Bay Bridge was. And those trains were crowded. Yeah, I, I've, I've ridden a few of them, and yes, yes. <laughs> I couldn't find a seat. Right, right. Uh, you can. As they say, standing room only. That's right. But now you got. Well, 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 something has happened, obviously. The pandemic has had a, a tremendous impact. Explain what that impact has been. Oh, well, ridership and passenger revenue plummeted mm -hmm. by down to about 95% of, we lost 95% of our passengers and revenue almost overnight in March. We pivoted quick and did serious belt tightening. However, we saved maybe a million dollars mm -hmm. in the, uh, uh, pardon me, $100 million. Mm -hmm. But in fiscal year 20 and 21, we lost about $500 million each year. $500 million is a lot right. to lose. Now, uh, we're going to have to go to break, but when we come back, let's uh, delve a little bit deeper into uh, some of the impacts that COVID-19 uh, has had on BART's uh, operation. So don't touch that remote. Put it down. Just put it down. We will be right back with All About Community. My name is Robert L. Harris, and I am your host, and I'm talking with... Director Robert Rayburn of the board of BART. We'll be right back.